Every gun that is made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies in the final sense a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed, those who would challenge and defeat climate change and not just deny it while knowing the full ravages will come later after they're dead. And those who would like to have a college education but who cannot afford the equivalent of a home mortgage on their back when they graduate. This world in arms is not spending money alone. It is spending the sweat of the laborers, the genius of its scientists, the hopes of the children, perhaps even the existence of the human race, given climate change and the ever-present existence and growing numbers of nuclear weapons. The cost of one F-35 lightning strike fighter is 340 modern homes in an average American city. And the cost of the entire F-35 program is seven and a half million college educations at the best public universities in America with no cost to the student. The cost of a single Ford class aircraft carrier is 100 modern hospitals in small towns across America. The cost of the U.S. Marine Corps' Osprey program is enough solar paneling to provide electricity for New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles for half a century. And the cost of the U.S. Army's recruiting program, recruiting program, last year alone would buy 20 years supply of the most in-use medications for over 10,000 average elderly citizens. And let one repeat those final lines of Ike's and modify them only slightly. This is not a way of life at all in any true sense. Under the cloud of today's endless wars, it is humanity hanging from a cross of iron. Five-star general.